It's 2007. I just got thrown off the balcony by my stepbrothers. I'm hysterically crying watching TV, but suddenly my favorite show comes on. Avatar, The Last Airbender. <laughs> A lot of people have seen this show after the hype. I've been a diehard fan since the beginning. Played all the off-brand games on PC and some on PS2. Man, I remember this one. This one's super cool. You're jumping around, you're kind of hitting people and online with abilities, and you're teleporting around because the ping's really high. It's a great time. This dual game, I love this dual game. Oh. Oh man, this catapult one, that was, that was a good one. Oh, great memories. I remember when they released the Black Comet episode and bamboozled us all, making us think it was an end, and bam, Ozai was not there, and everyone's like, oh, and it was, oh, it's a good, good twist, good cliffhanger. And we all had to wait a couple months for the final season to come out. So, boy, naturally, I was excited when I heard about the live action. A brilliant story was already there. All they had to do was copy it. <laughs> Live action. <laughs> All they had to do was copy it one for one. Pick good actors and not f*** it up. Shouldn't be too hard with their $120 million budget. Boy, was I wrong. Netflix had one job. Of course, they decided to start a new company. And they just... Didn't even, they couldn't even do do the one thing. It was copied. They could have copied and pasted it one for one. They couldn't couldn't do it with their one hundred twenty million dollar budget. Man, I just can't. I mean, let me just get into the the costumes. What? Ah. What are these these plastic looking costumes? That's exactly what they are. Costumes. They look like costumes in a play, not outfits used every day in a nation by a soldier or citizen. Actually worn. They look fake. No wear, tear, dirt, or grime. Brand new. They look brand new costumes out of a Halloween store. It's like guitar. They're all dressing up as an avatar. It's like that. It's literally the play from the cartoon. That's what these. That's what. Oh man. That's. I can't get it out of my mind. I don't even want to talk about guitar. I understand. I want to like Aang, but but his voice really irritates me. I'm used to the actor from the cartoon, Zach. Asen, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But yeah, I, I just always hear his voice every time I think of Aang. It's hard not to hear anything Ozai's else. defense is impeccable. I'll have to try a different approach. <laughs> Zuko is probably the best adaptation on the show. Iroh seems like a weak side character that is oblivious. My mask is my boy. Zhao is alright, I guess. Where's Azula's blue flames? What the hell is this shit? Why is she some half-assed version of the OG prodigy Azula? She was born lucky. I was lucky to be born. No. She acts like she is some disgruntled tween when in the cartoon she's a cold, calculated, cunning leader. Don't even get me started on May and Ty Lee. Oh my god. I, I'm not even... No. Ozai is secretly a detective from elite police force from Hawaii. He's the best. Really great job. Nailed it. Quite literally the only reason I'm watching this shit. Zuko's crew getting some spotlight is cool, I guess. Why does Boomy hate Aang? He literally was frozen in ice. It's not like he ran away for 100 years and was the same age. Boomy's over 100 years old and should have the wisdom like he does in the cartoon to understand the situation. Like, what is this writing? I just don't... It's like, it's so forced. Netflix took a perfectly good story. All they had to do was copy one for one, and they dumped it. They folded. They had one job, man. They just, ah, uh, do better. Who will restore balance to the world? The one who has returned to us. My name is Ong, and I'm the Avatar. <laughs>